to the channel. My name is Tidimi Mr. Abasa Glory. And for those who are new, thank you for joining us. And uh, kindly hit the notification button as subscription so you'll be notified where all that content are dropped. So let's move straight to the question we have that we need to attend to. The question says, Mr. Henry, a, a 46 year old farmer who weighs 74 kg, had bones of the head and neck, anterior uh, hand and neck, the abdomen, the right lower limb, anterior trunk, anterior surface of the lower limbs. Calculate the total surface area bones, and then number two say the total amount of fluid to be administered within the first eight hours. Now, what is the question asking us? The question says a man who is 46 years old, is a farmer, he weighs 74 kg, had bones of the head and neck the abdomen, the right lower limb, anterior trunk, anterior surface of the lower limbs. What is the total area bone, TBSA? What is the total body surface area that is born? Now, before we analyze this, uh, the numbers or the area that are born, let's go back to rules of nine. While the rules of nine specifically said that every part of the body is grouped into 9%, exception with the perineum. However, rule of nine says head and neck is 9%. Head and neck is 9%. If head and neck is 9%, it also means that the anterior surface of the head is 4.5, while the anterior surface is 4.5. Rule of nine says anterior surface of the head is 4.5, the posterior surface of the head is 4.5, the whole head and neck, both anterior and posterior, is 9. Anterior 4.5, posterior 4.5, the whole head and neck, 9%. Now, the rule also says that the whole anterior trunk is 18%. Anterior trunk is 18%. However, the anterior trunk is not subdivided into anterior chest region, anterior abdominal region. The whole trunk is referred to as 18%. However, like I said, the chest region is nine, the abdominal region is nine, anterior surface. While posterior trunk is also referred to as 18%. However, out of this 18%, we're also told that posterior chest region, same way we have anterior chest, which is nine. So also we have posterior chest is nine. Posterior abdominal is nine too. So the whole posterior trunk is 18. The same way we have it anterior. So posterior 18, anterior 18. However, like I said, so they are into nine, nine. Now let's move down to the upper limb. Now, the upper limb be right and left, each of them is 9, 9%. However, the anterior part of the upper limb is 4.5. So also the posterior part of the upper limb is 4.5. So it is the whole upper limb that is 9. Anterior 4.5, posterior 4.5. So each of the upper limb is 9, 9. Now, let's move to the lower limb. We also told that lower limb as a whole is 18. Lower limb as a whole is 18. However, this lower limb that is 18 will also have posterior, will also have anterior. So the anterior surface of the lower limb is 9. So also the posterior surface of the lower limb is 9. So it is the whole lower limb that is 18. Like I said, anterior, 9 posterior nine now the only exception we have is the perineum which is one percent now if we have all of these break that I say head and neck is nine arterial trunk is 18 posterior trunk is 18 upper limb is nine each lower limb is 18 each and then the perineum is one total of 100 percent now let's go back to the question the question says the patient is 47, 46 years old. He weighs 74 kg, had bones of the head and neck. Rule of nine says head and neck is 9%. So we have 9% there already. Now, abdomen. 
abdomen, right lower limb, arterial trunk. We have abdomen, we have anterior trunk, which means the abdomen covers, anterior trunk rather covers for abdomen because the abdomen is found within the arterial trunk. So there's no way we have anterior trunk, which is 18, and now have abdomen nine addition to 18. No, it therefore means that the abdomen is a deception to take our mind from the main thing. The arterial trunk covers for the abdomen, so abdomen is out of it. Now the other part of it says right lower limb. Right lower limb, we know right lower limb alone is 18 percent now the other part of it now says anterior surface of the lower limbs arterial surface of the lower limbs arterial surface of the lower limb now the arterial surface of the lower limbs when I say lower limbs we know already lower limbs means right and left we were told already that we already have right lower limb so which means 18 we've got it 18 from right lower limb no, well, so when the other partner say anterior surface of lower limbs, the right limb is already out. So we are only looking for the left lower limb, which is the anterior surface of the left lower limb. It therefore means that we now have nine because left lower limb as a whole, both anterior and posterior is 18, but we're told only anterior surface, which is nine. So what do we have? Head and neck, nine, right lower limb, 18 anterior trunk 18 left lower limb that is the anterior surface of the left lower limb which is nine if you add all of this together it give you 54 so the patient have 54 percent of bones patient have 54 percent of bones now the other part of the question says total amount of flu to be administered within the first eight hours we know for sure Parkland formula says four means times the kg times the total body surface area. Four means times kg times the uh, total body surface area. We know four means. What is total body surface area? 54. What is the kg? 74. So if you multiply it, four times, four times uh, 74 times 54 is going to give you 15,984, 15,954. That is the total, the amount of fluid that will be administered within 24 hours. But the question says within the first eight hours. The rule says the first eight hours, half of the amount of fluid should be administered. So if 15,958 is the total amount of fluid to be administered within eight hours, uh, 24 hours. So the first eight hours, half of it should be administered. So 15984 divided by two, get to give us 7902. So that is the total amount of fluid to be administered within the first eight hours, 7992. So thank you for listening. Thank you. If you found this very useful, kindly hit the subscription button so you'll be notified. Kindly also share to your friends. Thank you and God bless you.